PRP has been the most significant new treatment option for hair loss in men and women in the last three, four years in the United States. It's been done for over a decade in orthopedic surgery, for sports injuries and orthopedic injuries, and it migrated into dermatology several years ago. When it first was raised as an idea for treating hair loss, I was a little skeptical. But then over the last few years, there's been clinical trials that have consistently shown it to be a treatment that works in the majority of patients and that's safe as well. So in our practice, we've seen the same thing. I tell patients about two out of three people with hair loss, if you go through a series of PRP treatments, you'll be glad you did them. So that's a significant new treatment option. It's also a popular option because these days a lot of patients, frankly, they don't want to take a medication if they don't have to. They want to keep their hair, but they're nervous about taking a medication that might have certain side effects for them. So if somebody's motivated to keep their hair but doesn't want to go on a daily medication or just can't do something daily, doing a series of monthly PRP treatments for three months is a way to help their treatment, uh, help their hair loss in a way they don't have to do anything at home for themselves. All treatments for hair loss are, is only successful if you continue. So in this case, the protocol is to do three treatments once a month. So you do a treatment for three months and then we wait six months and see what it does or doesn't do. So at nine months, we have a pretty good idea about what it's done. If it's successful, you need to do a maintenance treatment. Why? Because you keep growing hair. You know, we have to keep going to the hair salon and cut our hair. So you have to keep, if you don't, sustain it, it will revert back to the way it was before. So if successful, you do a maintenance treatment a little bit more often than once a year to maintain the benefit. If it didn't help you, no, no maintenance for something that didn't help you. But in our office, we found over the last few years about two out of three people who do the initial series of treatments do come back and do maintenance treatments every nine months.